Welcome to Beneath the Mango Tree. Today we're reading Where's Coco? Written and illustrated by Isaiah Diaz. Read for you by Andrew Gumatauta. If you have a copy, grab it and read along. On a beautiful island in the sea lives a pet bird and his family. He runs along with speed and grace to hide away in a secret place. Guam. Half a day, friends, the boy said with glee. But then he sank. My Coco ran away from me. We must find him quick and not delay. I see some tracks leading this way. The tracks led through some coconut trees, where a bush rustled, but there was no breeze. Cautiously, he approached and stalled. He built up the courage, and he called. Keju! Coco! Is that you? Out scurried a crab with claws that were blue. Coco? No, no. I'm Mr. Ajuju. I steal the palms and eat the seeds. You should keep following where the track leads. Mr. Ajuju, coconut crab. He followed the tracks and made sure he was checking. Went through the jungle, he heard someone pecking. Kedzu! Coco! Is that you? A bird fluttered out with a beak that could peck. Coco? No, no, I'm little sea heck. I burrow into trees to make my nest. To find your friend, you must continue your quest. Little sea heck, Guam Kingfisher. He hung his head and looked for more signs when he heard a noise up in the vines. Kedzu! Oh, is that you? Down swung a bat from a banana tree. Coco? No, no, I'm Mrs. Fanihi. I live in the trees, not on the ground. Coco's up here are nowhere to be found. Mrs. Fanihi, fruit bat. She pointed him down towards the beach, but along the way he heard quite a screech. Kedzu! Coco! Is that you? Screech! Out called a lizard who looked very sly. Coco? No, no, they call me Hilitai. I'm long and slender with spots down my back. I'd like to get my hands on a cocoa, in fact. Sly, Hilitai, monitor lizard. He licked his lips. That sounds like a snack. Away the boy ran without looking back. He sauntered along the forest of limestone. He saw no signs and started to groan. Just then, he heard a magical sound that he knew. Ketu! Coco, I found you! Reunited with his rail, the boy began to celebrate when he noticed that Coco had found himself a mate. In the nest he was excited to see three little chicks, a whole Coco family. 
Coco, Guam Rail. They all return to their home by the sea to have a fiesta and dance merrily. A family has grown and it feels just right. See you later, my friends. Adios and good night. If you enjoyed Where's Coco, you can purchase your own copy at gigarootels.com. See you soon for listening to Beneath the Mango Tree. And don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell for new content notifications.